Good day everyone, I am giving the task to research about the life of Henry G. Widowson, his autobiography and its a contribution to stylistics and discourse analysis. So Henry G. Widowson was born on May 28, 1935. He is a British linguist and an authority in the field of applied linguistics and also in language te teaching specifically English language learning and teaching so what is applied linguistics it is an, an interdisciplinary field which identifies and investigates also offers solutions to language related real life problems next he was born in Leicester, East Midlands of England. He gained a PhD in linguistics from the University of Edinburgh in 1973. He is also an emeritus professor of education, University of London. He has also been professor of applied linguistics at Essex University and professor of English linguistics at the University of Vienna. And he is also the Applied Linguistics Advisor to Oxford University Press and Series Advisor of Oxford Bookworms Collection. He is also a co-editor of Language Teaching, a scheme for teacher education and the series editor of Oxford Introductions to Language Study and the author of Linguistics in 1996 in the same series. He has also published Defining Issues in English Language Teaching in 2002 and Practical Stylistics in Approach to Poetry in 1992. So he has 104 works in 324 publications in nine languages and 6,083 library holdings. He is a compiler, an editor, an honoraire, dedicate, author of Introduction, World Cat Identities. Next is Widow Son, perhaps best known for his contribution to communicative language teaching. So what is communicative language teaching or the CLT? The CLT is an approach to language teaching that emphasizes interaction as both the means and the ultimate goal of study. So from the word communicative, meaning that is more on interaction. Next, however, he has also published and other related subjects such as discourse analysis and critical discourse analysis, the global spread of English, English for special purposes and stylistics. So, as we all know that discourse analysis is the study of how stretches of language used in communication that assumes meaning purpose and unity for their users. The Routledge Encyclopedia of language teaching and learning calls him probably the most influential philosopher of the late 20th century for international SO 674. He has authored a number of highly influential papers. His 1994 paper in Tetzel Quarterly, for instance, has become a key paper in the rationale behind English as a lingua franca and what has become known as the ownership of English. So, the critical discourse analysis, by the way, or the CDA, is an interdisciplinary approach to the study of discourse that views language as a form of social practice, so the more focus of social practice. So, his Tessel paper in 1994, Tessel mean, means the teaching English to speakers of other languages as English as a lingua franca. 
lingua franca as we have learned our past years of study. It is a language that is adopted as a common language between speakers whose native languages are different. Next, uh, one of his present books is Text, Context, Pretext. So that is all about his books, the text, context, and pretext. The critical issues in this course analysis 2005 pu published by Blackwells. So next is the greatest contribution of Widow Son in the field of stylistics. Stylistics has had another educational rule in the teaching of literature to people learning English. Widow Son's 1975 book Stylistics and the Teaching of Literature was not only a major contribution to stylistic theory but also partly responsible for the idea that ELT could be integrated with the teaching of literature. Literary texts were thought to provide real texts which gave opportunities to explore subtle aspects of language in use or by their marked use of certain stylistic features could draw attention to the workings of the language. And this carried a political advantage to the foreign language often occupied by the academics who have specializations in lit literature, but who are faced with a practical need to devote much time to the teaching of the language. The merger of linguistics and literary study provided by the stylistics gave them a way to put their expertise to use in language teaching. So e ELT, by the way, is English language teaching. The next is Widow Son's greatest contribution in the field of discourse analysis. Like the other books in the Oxford Introductions to Language Study series of which Widow Son is the editor, it is split into four sections, the survey, the readings, references, and glossary. There are eight chapters in the survey section, language and use of communication context, schematic conventions, contextual relations, the negotiation of meaning, critical. There are eight chapters in the survey section, the language in use, Again, communication context, schematic convention, co-textual relations, the negotiations of meaning, critical analysis, text analysis, and using the corpus techniques. With widow sons aim to engender a reflective attitude continues into the readings, a section of short extracts from scholars in the field where he encourages close critical reading. To aid this, he leaves judiciously constructed questions at the end of the extracts and in so doing orchestrates, simulating clashes, counterpoints, harmonies between different th thinkers and ideas. So, as we all know that Vido Son is perhaps best known for his contribution to communicative language teaching. However, he has also published on other related subjects such as discourse analysis and critical discourse analysis. Next slide. Widow Son asserts that two ways of thinking of discourse are now that discourse are not mutually exclusive but it is more a matter of emphasis emphasis meaning giving importance or impressiveness of the context so the purpose behind this series could not be more opposite for an introdu introductory book on discourse analysis given the range of dis the discipline its ravenous interdisciplinary and its conceptual and, in, and terminological profusion, not to mention in inconsistency. Next slide is 
Okay, that would be the end of our report. And according to Henry G. Widowson, that lack of specialist expertise does not imply an inability to understand or evaluate ideas. So, ignorance means lack of knowledge, not lack of intelligence. So that would be all. Thank you and more power.